this rig right here has caught me so many fish and so many unexpected fish. I'm gonna talk about my double jig rig um, with a couple Bobby Garlands on there. I got two lures on one line and I am not the expert probably to make this video. So I've learned what I've learned is from uh, Colin J and um, Richard Dean, the fishing machine. I've, I've watched a couple videos or watched uh, their videos on uh, how this setup is probably last year when I was starting to try it out. And I was like, that's kind of cool to throw two little lures, you got extra weight and you can, uh, you can throw two different colors. Now I got the same color on this one, but I'll most of the time throw two different colors. And um, you can and you can change up the lures. You can have two different types of lures if you want. But this is such a fun setup. And um, over the last year, especially this spring, the spring, and I feel like in the fall too. But I've been using it a lot in a lot of my videos recently, and I've had a couple people ask about it. And I'm like, let me just go ahead and make a video. And I've got some video footage uh, where I went out with uh, Reed Angling, and I switched to this setup, and that's where I caught like all my fish. Um, and what's the, so what I like about it so much is it's so simple, it's easy, it tracks a variety, a good variety of fish, and I can throw it on a, a medium light sub. This is a really light rod. I love my uh, PC Fin Serpent medium light. I've used this rod. I've caught so many fish on this rod, and mainly because it's so light, it's enjoyable, so easy to fish. I got eight pound braid, a 1,000 size. Um, what is that? The Honor XT reel. I got eight pound braid and I think I got a 10 pound fluorocarbon leader. So I give myself about eight foot leader line. Now I tie the leader to leader, or the line to leader with a double uni knot. I like to go with maybe the, the blue ice and this spring, early, late winter, early spring, this orange sunrise color has impressed me so much. Now I would never usually throw a color that bright because I mean, what does it do? I mean, I'm smarter than the fish, right? It doesn't look like anything. Well, for some reason, the fish have been loving it. I've been throwing the with uh, the double, the doubled up here um, last three or four weeks, mainly with the orange and another color. And the orange has gotten hit uh, probably five to one at least. Um, no matter if I have it at the top or bottom, um, it's still getting hit more. And I was like, why are they hitting that orange so much? But you know, that's something about it. They're just keyed in on it. But at different times of the year, it might be a different color or a different water might be different. But um, so just, it's just real simple. Um, let me explain, let me show you my, how I tie it on really quick. And then I'll show you some video footage of what I've been catching. Also, if you want Bobby Garland's, if you're in those, I got a 15% off discount um, because I'm working with them. And that's in the description below, 15% off Bobby Garland's or, or any other uh, any other brands on that website below. But let me show you how I tie real quick and then I'll show you some fishing footage. Man, my shirt looks all wrinkled now. All right, don't look at my shirt. So uh, most of the time, I'm going to throw it on medium light, but you can throw it on a uh, ultra light. You can throw it on whatever you want. Um, you can throw it on a medium head up, uh, setup too. And um, but what I what the only thing you can change you know you change up is different jig heads. Some people put a heavier jig head on the bottom one than on the top. Some you know you do both. I like to do if I can get away with it, I'll do one thirty second ounce jig heads. But for this video, I'll do a 1 32nd ounce jig head on the top and a 1 16th on the bottom. I think the one I got set up over there has got a 1 16th on both because I was fishing deeper water last. So I'm going to take this line. I uh, probably can't see it that great. But so I'm gonna, this is how I'm going to do it. This is how I do it. I think this is how I've seen it done. And I don't know the name of this knot. So I'll slide the first one on there. Just slide it on there. I forget what it's called. And I give myself about a foot liter or more liter length. So you take this hook here. So I got a loop. I'm gonna take it and make it go through the loop. One time, two times, and I think they say three times is the best. So we'll put it, ouch, poking me. Put it through there two times and then it's gonna go through the third time, you just kind of make it go through the loop three times. And then as you tighten it down, it's going to make a little loop on it, a little drop loop. So you got a little drop loop on your line and that's going to be strong to hold up there. 
So I got a little drop loop coming off your, your line. Then you got at least another foot of line coming out the back here. So let's get the heavier one. And this is just how I do my knots. Um, it seems to be great for me. You can, everybody can do it. This is how I do it. This is the uni knot. You can look up how to do these videos this is the, or how to do these knots. This is the tagline right here. Got it on there. And I'm gonna take the tagline, go through the loop Get in there five times. Yeah, you'll probably have to make it. I have to watch another video. Let me just do it. You also gotta figure out how to hold your hands. One, two, three, four. Ah, I'm losing it. Five. All right, and you pull that tight. And what I like about the uni knot, it doesn't burn the line. So when you cinch it down, it's gonna cinch right down into a nice knot. Cut off the little leader there. And there you have it. You got two jig heads. This one here's a little heavier. This one's a little lighter. When you throw it out there, it's just gonna kinda twitch through the water. And you can catch two fish at one time. So that's how I set it up. It's probably not the best shown, but that's my best way of explaining it. Now check out some fishing and check out just it's check out all the different species that hit this lure. So that's what's that's what's kinda cool. Oh nice. There we go. He nailed that thing. Oh, it's a skip check. No wonder. That dude nailed it. Well, there's my uh, fishing expertise for the day. That's a big old dude. A crappie and a skip jack. Oh, man. Usually I'd be excited. I guess I'm excited just to get another fish. Hey, hold on, hold on, everybody. Hold on there. Anybody want this? I guess could throw out a catfish line. We'll just let it uh, let it tangle behind us. What kind of bird that is? Oh no, it's like a small as a hummingbird. Oh, a skip jack. I'm tired of the, I, I, I thought I was done with my skipjack fishing videos. <laughs> I thought the bass were biting. Oh, these are pretty good ones though. I got a freezer full of them. Yeah, and, I, and I've, I've gone out several times trying to catfish and haven't got anything. So I'm not keeping anymore. Fish. Holy cow, what is that? Catfish. Catfish. About to say. It's gonna be one of those days again, huh? Oh my God. A uh well he just keeps I got him. <laughs> he's a wrapping himself. Yeah, he's got hooked by both of them now. Where was he? Was he off that bottom? Uh no, he's out here. GP. Oh, I don't know if my camera's on. Put my camera on. Oh, camera's on. Well, we started to come back in this little uh, channel, and I hooked into something. I had no idea what it was. Little channel cat. He's only got one eye. His eye's gone. On this uh, healthy-looking little channel cat, had a little Bobby Garland, and he wrapped himself in it. Let's see if we can get you out of there. There you go, about a little three pound catfish. All right. Right. I don't know. Some people will be like, you could uh, could left that in there for somebody else to catch. Oh, there's a little fish. No way. Are you serious? We're gonna get a bass. Wow. Got me a little smally. Are you serious? Check that out. We got a bass on the boat. 
<laughs> I got a big old crawl pincher sticking out. Does he really? Yeah, so they're eating crawls. Hey, look at his, uh, feel his um, lips are wore down already from working on the rocks. Oh my goodness. It's already wore, well, not too much, but it's already red up there. Yep. Got that crawl pincher in there. Caught him on. Dude, this little orange Bobby Garland has been killing them. It's the sunrise color, that little color right there. He's been catching all kinds of stuff recently. That's crazy. That's such a. Well, we've been fishing pretty much all day, haven't got a single bass. Then we get this guy right here. After I just caught that catfish, because I just started throwing Bobby Garland because it was just it's the only thing catching fish, seems like. So, all right, Bo, we're going to let him go in there. Oh really? Yeah, me and her watch it together. Oh. Because that's what we're trying to do. We're try I'm trying to buy. I almost bought a five-acre chunk out at Dale Hollow that had a 30 by 40 insulated barn on it. So oh yeah, yeah. And uh, so I would love to do that. I just. Acres isn't like a ton of land, but it's enough to do. It's oh yeah. A small homestead. So Definitely. We. I, was, I don't know. I was really pumped about it, and then I just. That's the kind of stuff I grew up. We always grew up. We didn't have a big that big a property, but we always had. There's a little fish. Oh wow. What the? He was take oh, it's another skipjack. That dude was taking off. Oh, I got two of them. <laughs> I was wondering, uh, I, how did that one get hooked? Well, check that out, people. Uh, somehow I got two <laughs> skipjack. <laughs> Talking about Armstrong and Homestead. Shout out Armstrong and Homestead. By the way, I got an Armstrong and Homestead t-shirt on right now. So, boom, representing. You can't see it, it's under my hoodie. <laughs> All right, there's a couple more skipjack. We're just, we're trying to find some fish here. It's, it's been a strange day. There's another, couple good catfish bait going back. 